my goodness, dude. Look at this dude. Welcome back to another episode of Carolina Kayak Adventures, brought to you by Eastern Outfitters, where you can find all of the name brand gear that you love to use, and also by 70 West Builders. This is a builder that we know and trust. Look at that fly on the goat. All right, guys, I want to take a few minutes uh, to make a quick video, and I just want to show you what we were fishing with and um, you know, talk just a little bit about the tactics we were using on our last video. I don't know if you've seen that one yet, but I'll put a link in the description for that. Okay, so I wanna take a second and talk about the conditions because the conditions are important as to why you would fish whatever type of um, tackle and gear that you're using, okay? So the conditions that day was, um, it was chilly outside, it had been cold, it wasn't crazy rainy. Um, but it had definitely been cold. Um, there was, we actually broke ice that morning um, on the location where we were. And we had a short paddle to get to the hole um, that we were fishing in, but we were fishing in a creek that was on the backwater side of the intercoastal waterway. And also, it was one of the deepest holes around, okay? So it was definitely the deepest hole in that creek. So we were doing what you would typically do on any, any whatever you're fishing for in the winter in salt water, you're gonna be looking low and slow. You're gonna fish slow, and you're also gonna be looking deep because the fish are gonna be wanting to get deep because that's um, where the water temperature is gonna maintain um, a more even temperature. It's not gonna be up and down. It's not gonna fluctuate as much. So it's just more comfortable for them to be in an environment like that when it's super cold. So early in the day, during the winter time, when it's cold outside, you want to fish low and slow. So the fact that I want to be able to fish a, a bait slow, I want to be able to work it slow, and I want to be able to fish it low, um, that drove me to, to use the type of bait that we were using. All right, so Kurt started the day off actually with a 23 and a half inch red drum. And what he was using that morning, he was, he was actually fishing show you if I can get it undone he that morning um, he, he started his day off with a mirrodine he was fishing that right there okay so this is an MR 17 and that's the exact color that he was using also it's kind of like a trout pattern that he was using all right so that's what he started his day off with what the MR-17, what this gives you the ability to do is you can throw this bait. What's so nice about this, when you throw this bait, it's a, it's a suspending twitch bait. All right, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to throw this bait, it's gonna come, it's gonna land, it's gonna, it's gonna just descend very slow, and it's also gonna stay level. It's not gonna sink down one way or the other, it's gonna stay level. And so what he was doing was he was throwing it right into the hole, kind of past, maybe right past where he wanted it. He, he gave it maybe two cranks and then let it drop. And then what he did was he just gave it time, was very slow and let this thing work. And then tiny twitches, a tiny twitch. And all you're, all you're really trying to get this bait to do is kind of flop, just a little flop, just enough to give it a flash. And when you, when you give the rod tip a little twitch, it's gonna go up and then you're gonna let it suspend and sit there and sink. It's gonna sink really slow. And um, so what he was doing, he was he was fishing it slow enough that it was sinking really, not all the way to the bottom, but it was getting down. And um, that's how he picked up his first couple redfish. He, 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 he caught uh, two redfish over 23 inches doing that very thing. That was one of our first tactics, okay? Later on in the day, um, I switched over. I, I wanted to go to the bottom. And I actually, I also wanted to make sure that I could, I could touch the bottom. And one of the issues that we have here in, in the wintertime here in Eastern North Carolina, we get a lot of algae on, on the bottom. And so what I was wanting to do was I was wanting to be able to hit the bottom and, and not have, um, not be picking up a bunch of algae, scrubbing across the bottom. So that kind of, that eliminates using a jig head. All right. so. What I wanted to do was I wanted to switch over to a weedless style hookup. So what I did was I switched over to a VMC. Now I, this is actually a three yacht, and I switch out um, the twist lock the owner makes 
with any of the hooks that I'm going to put a soft plastic on and rig weedless, I, 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 I actually will buy, you can buy just the twist lock part the owner makes. And I put that on the hook because it holds them really well. And um, the reason I like these BMC weights or these BMC hooks is because the weight is at the very back of this. All right. So I wanted to be able to show you the actual bait that I was using and it was likely one of the baits I was using and it was kind of tore up by the end of the time I was using it there. So I'm going to use a different color jerk shad to show you, but it's the same thing. This is a five inch jerk shad. This is that BMC hook with the owner twist lock. So all you have to do is twist your bait onto the twist lock, just like this. Right, and that, that twist lock holds it so well. I mean, it really does a great job. Okay, and then, um, I, I don't have to show you how to do this, but um, it's just like any of the other baits that you would normally fish that you rig weedless, okay? However you use, this is just the one that I prefer. I really like that VMC. So once I've rigged this up, um, I've got, you can see I've got the hook laying straight down its back. I've got my bait pretty straight. And what's happening here, because this weight is, is really all the way to the back of this hook, if, if it's when the weight is farther up on these weighted hooks, it'll make your bait you know, go down like this. This is how it's gonna sink down to the bottom. With this one, with the weight being closer to the back, this one will sink a lot flatter, and swim a lot more natural. That's the reason that I like these VMC hooks. This is what I was using to catch the drum that I was catching all that day. That rig right there, but actually in this color in new penny the gulp new penny is what i was using but this is what i was throwing and what this is going to allow me to do is throw this throw this out into the hole and let it sink all the way to the bottom i don't have to worry about it snagging on anything that's on the bottom in there and um i was doing i was fishing so slow even at some point some points i was even dead sticking and picked up fish um, just I was there was there was actually one point where I turned around and was watching a bird or something fly by and not even working the bait this was just sitting on the bottom the goat uh, has that great smell that the fish love they came and picked it up these fish were feeding on the bottom they were deep and they were feeding on the bottom so in the winter time that's what I would recommend to somebody is, is fish something like a jerk shad this doesn't make a ton of noise throwing it um, when it hits the water it will sink all the way to the bottom in a natural swim. Um, you can catch trout with this lure. You can catch redfish with this lure. I really like it. And when, as soon as the flounder come back in, flounder will hit this thing. This is a great all around lure. In the summertime, this is a lure that we like to use in the shallows. It's a little easier. Y'all know we like to use gold brick mullet in the, in the summertime. Um, but when I get up into the shallows and over top of oyster, oyster bars and things like that, this is what I like to throw. This was a very effective way to catch those redfish. They were loving it. They, they could smell it. Um, they, they liked the presentation that this did. Whether I was working it really slow or even just dead sticking, this was effective. So you can see the two baits that we were using. Kurt was using the MR17 uh, Miradine by Mirror Lure in a trout pattern, it's kind of a green back in, in spots. And then I was using that, that uh, jerk shad with a VMC hook. And Kurt actually switched over to um, the five inch jerk shad and he started catching fish. So anyway, I just wanted to make that, that quick little video to show you what we were doing and, and um, how we were catching the fish with that we were catching. I really hope that this helps. I appreciate all the subscribers. Don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate it guys. You guys take care and God bless you.